When you think of dropping your bike, do you worry more about damaging the bike than injuring yourself? Me too. That's how you know motorcycles run through your veins. But that's also a good reason to install some protective parts on your bike so that you can worry less about damaging your bike and focus more on the riding. So today we're going to go over parts that are specifically designed to protect three crucial areas of your bike, whether it's in the event of a crash or just for everyday riding. Two years ago I had a KTM 390 Duke and a company called Bagaros Performance generously offered to send me a few parts to protect it. I got axle sliders, a radiator guard, frame sliders, a lever guard and a custom sub cage that all looked awesome. You may have seen the owner Rock Bagaros on YouTube. He's an adequate professional stunt rider, very similar to myself in fact. This is me. This is him. This is me. This is him. We're both on a very similar level. But the problem is that he's sponsored by KTM. I know, I'm jealous too. But that meant all his motorcycle protection parts were only for KTMs. But then I got a Yamaha MT-09. Now Bagaros claims that they were already working on parts for the MT-09 before I got one. But I'm pretty sure that they made these for me and they just don't want to admit it. Because after all, I am the biggest motorcycle channel on YouTube. Exactly, there's no evidence to prove otherwise. So let's install this cheese grater. At first, I was confused as to why I didn't get any instructions, but assumed they would be online if I needed them. But in hindsight, I know exactly why I didn't get any. Because you simply don't need them. Removing the radiator side covers reveals the bolts you need. And with those taken out, you can put the guard over the radiator and the bolt holes behind the indicator brackets before reversing the process. These guards prevent rocks or debris from getting kicked up while riding and puncturing your radiator leaving you stranded. Or worse if you don't notice and your bike overheats. Then you need a whole new engine and not just a new radiator. Because you don't always have to crash to do damage. Plus it makes the basic radiator on my MT look way cleaner and is a nice hidden touch of bling that you'd only notice if you looked for it. The axle sliders are even easier. You attach one slider to the shaft, slide it through your axle and attach the second slider on the other side. You can even hide the bolts with these Bagaros logo stickers. It's the same front and back and now the front sliders protect the ends of your fork legs if you were to slide down the road and the rear sliders protect your swing arm, brake and drivetrain all of which cost a lot more to replace than these plastic sliders. They weigh next to nothing with their aluminium connecting rod and look very neat. The only downside would be having to remove them for tire changes but I think the pros outweigh the cons here. The crash bobbins are literally a one bolt install. I just wasn't sure which bolt. Because I have two options, whereas the new MT-09 only has one engine mounting bolt and that's what features on Bagaros's website. This was the only time instructions might have been nice. At first, I assumed the further forward the better, but then realized that the radiator side covers interfered with the bobbin. So I switched to the rear bolt. It was further back than I expected and still didn't sit perfectly flush in the hole in the frame. So I immediately messaged Bagaros just to make sure that these crash bobbins do actually fit a 2018 MT-09 like I have. And 24 hours later they finally got back to me. The short answer is no, they don't fit my bike. So don't ask me how I managed to get them to fit but I did get them good enough to film with for one day and I'll remove them again tomorrow. But assuming that you got frame sliders that actually fit your bike, everything that I've already filmed still applies. Their job is to protect your bike's frame in a crash. 
Fairings can be replaced, but a damaged frame is a nightmare. It's expensive, hard to swap out, and irreparable. Not to mention is the home of your VIN. The mount itself is very strong, and the end cap is nylon so that it's low friction and slides along the road rather than digging in and doing more damage. Plus, it gives you somewhere to mount your cameras. I just wish I had a pair that fit my bike. So all of that only took me about 20 minutes to install. In fact, the only bad part about protection parts is that they can be quite pricey, but they could potentially save you a lot in the long run. So if you use the discount code CHAOS10 on baggerossperformance.com, you'll get 10% off your protection parts, so that hopefully it's cheaper for you to protect your bike. And if your bike is already protected, then we have a bonus part to install, a tail tidy. Tail tidies are 100% useless in a crash, but Bagaras were kind enough to send me one since they know how awful the stock MT-09 number plate bracket looks. It protrudes off the swing arm with a bar that weighs 999 kilograms, just under a ton. So this new one saves a few kilograms, looks neater and complies with the law. But what Bagaros didn't take into account was my ingenuity, because I ripped the stock one off months ago. And I don't know if you guys know this, but number plates use a series of numbers and letters that generate an identification number for you and your bike. So I've realized that if you don't have one, you can't get in trouble. I'm just kidding. Obviously, I do have a number plate because I've never gone over the speed limit in my life. However, my jerry-rigged solution over here is even neater than this beautiful piece of metal. So I think I'm going to wait until I either get in trouble for this or until I sell the bike to install this one. But anyway, let me know which protective parts you consider to be crucial. Share this video with a friend who crashes a lot and I'll see you on the next ride.